All right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you catch your last storm with me, sucker gloss? How are you? Well, you wouldn't believe how many people want me to play this game. You know, it's like Stocko when he played Daddy's Catch. Stocko played Daddy's Catch, and it's uh, it's a great game. So I thought, why not? So we're gonna start our career. We're gonna have a new career. Um, uh, are we gonna play this? Uh, if you know me by now, I don't play any games very easy. Um. What's realistic? Pots pay low, nice build up, have a full effect. No, reduced. Uh, chance of breakdown repairs are reduced. Crab schools move and deplete slower. Crew engines are limited. Crew members here faster. I want to go easy. We go easy. Not very easy. We go easy. You know, we want to catch a load of crab, don't we? We don't want to work very, 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 very hard at catching crab. What have we got here? We've got the Northwestern. We've got the Sea Star with uh, Captain Larry Hendricks. Captain Phil Harris, who's no longer with us. Bless his soul. Uh, Cornelia Marie. We've got the Bering Star. Uh, Carl Johan Hansen. Uh, the Shellfish with... <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that name. Uh, so we've got to choose which boat we want. Um, well... I like the Northwestern, so I think we're going to go with the Northwestern. But we're going to have a bit of a, our own little, uh, you know, design on the Northwestern. I think so. Let's go customize. Um, we we'll go colors. Now, what do we want the base paint to be? Um, the white looks all a bit, you know. Let's go hull. Can we have it maybe? Oh yeah, I like that. That's, that's like a the sea colour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's make it maybe a little bit darker. Yeah. Okay. Now the trim. Sort of the same sort of colour as the hull. Yeah. The boat name. I think we should leave Northwestern. Uh the boat name drop shadow. Don't know what that means. Oh the the sh okay. Yeah. Um the deck trim. I don't know. Can we see any changes in that? No. The base paint. Ah, here we go. Now. <laughs> oh, look at it. It's ruined. I've ruined the Northwestern. I think we should keep the top bit white, to be honest. It wouldn't be North. Or maybe like a pinkish white. There we go. It looks kind of pink ish white I quite like that yeah I don't look I want to look on the deck ah there we go yeah we can work with that it's pink pinkish and I think we will change the boat name um what should we have the boat name uh maybe Maybe black. Yeah, that's fine. So the name is going to be the Stock Western. I can't spell. There we go. The Stock Western. Uh, can we move it? No. There we go. So yeah, there we go. We're in the Stock Western. I like the Northwestern, but stocko Um we've got a pink <laughs> a pink blue uh, boat the cabin yeah we we'll love that one okay except save boat yeah derp saving <laughs> the stock western with me stocko gloss save come on Hurry up. There we go. Close. So, career. Oh, I've just done all this. Oh, I haven't come out of it, have I? Easy. Ah, uh, don't. We want to load the stock western, load the boat. Accept. There we go. We're in. The Sea Star was built in 1969. In 1986, it was extended by 10 feet. Lovely. So the king season begins November the 6th. The crab population is a lot. 
What's that? It's, uh, one. No, that's twelve million five hundred thousand crabs. Uh, fleet quota is one million one hundred and fifty thousand pounds, and the weather is calm. Brilliant. Crabbing is an Olympic-style fishery. In other words, depending on how many participants and boats there are, there's only one quota for them to go out and catch. They're fighting for that quota, and depending on how much time you have to do it in, it's all up to you. Catch as much as you can in the time that you have to bring in the most crab that you can fit. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got the main man helping us as well. Uh, before we do anything, we need to hire some crew, don't we? So let's go to... When you're in port to hire a crew, you want to remember that there's only so much percentage to go around. The crew gets paid on a percentage of the catch and the money that's made when you come in and unload. You can't have all full share crew members because you won't have enough percentage to go around. You're going to need greenhorns or guys with less experience as well to make the deck work. So you're going to have to find that balance between full shared experienced guys and greenhorns with lesser experience and see if you can't make that work and go fishing. Okay. Dan, he's going to be our greenhorn. Dan was one of the first fishermen to fish for crab in the southwest of Alaska. It may say an unmanageable to the modern deckhand, but started fishing when the crew pulled pots out by hand. Wow. Dan has owned and captained many fishing vessels. He gave a shot of retirement. So he's got vast experience. Hook throwing is not very good, though. Roxanne. No, 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 no. Um... Oh yeah, you really are a, a greenhorn. Roxanne's father is is the owner of several fishing vessels. Uh, do we trust her though? Mm. But she's been on the trip since she was two. In spite of this, she's never actually worked on a boat until the age of 23 when she finally started to experience firsthand the crazy job her parents did. Um, she's got no plans of making this a career. Okay. But wants to try and put as many seasons under her belt as possible. She's in for the money. She tends to take the whole experience more likely hearty than the other crew members. Very good at cooking, as you probably would expect. Um, stamina, speed, emergency. She's a, definitely a possibility. You've got Josh. You know, we all know who Josh is. That's uh, Phil Harris's eldest son. Um, oh, see, he's not as good as I thought he would be. See, I think Roxanne isn't a million miles away. I think we'll let. Uh, well, we'll hire the best of the worst. So obviously we want. Yeah, Roxanne is a greenhorn. Matt, hook throw in. Yeah. Um. He's a good cook. Summoner speed, experience, leadership, crane. Yeah. Oh, Stan, the man. Stan is the Hanson's brother's cousin. At the age of 12, he started off trawling. Right, we're going to have him. He's, he's going to be the main man. Uh, we're going to have him as a uh, deck boss. Uh, did he... Engineer and swim in first aid. Yeah, we're going to have Stan. Deck boss. I'll see you at the boat. Thank you very much, Stan. Okay. So... We've got Jake. Uh, he spent 10 years with salmon, cod fishing in Alaska before being introduced to Greenhorn on the Northwestern by Nick Meaver's brother, Brian. Um, I, I don't trust him. He looks a bit dodgy. Tico. Tico Tyson. He's got a great name. Hook throwing, crane mac salary, 6%. So we got a 7%, haven't we? Yeah, we could probably do a Tico. He could be a deckhand. Or a debt boss. Oh, I didn't check. First aid. Yeah, he could be our our first aider. You've got yourself a new crew member. Beautiful. Um Albert. <laughs> yeah, bad. He's still six percent though, isn't he? Three percent. Got Sp Spike Perry. Hook throw in, not too bad. Is it three percent? Seven percent. He's got loads of experience, but you got enough six percent, eight percent. Is there any more people I can look at, or is this it? Uh, maybe I should have him as a debt boss, Tom. We're giving away our profits here, though, aren't we? Mm. 
What stands leadership? Half. None. Oh, what to do? Really good engineer. We haven't got any good engineers on board, have we? Tico, no. Jake is not too bad. I think we'll have Tom. We're gonna have you as a deck boss, an engineer. All right. Here's the man. We'll have, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's our three experienced crew, and then we're gonna have Roxine, uh, one percent. So basically, it's between Josh, Spike, and Kale Myers. Hook throwing, Manning, and too bad. He can do a bit of swimming, engineer, first aid. He isn't too bad, to be fair. Roxanne, cheapest chips. Spike. Hook throwing's pretty good. I think I'll go for Carl as deckhand. Um, oh, what's that? Emergency. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hire you as a deckhand. Sure, why not? And we'll have Roxanne as the bait boy. And a cook. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Are you sure about this, Captain? She doesn't look strong enough to make a good deckhand. She's not a deckhand, she's a bait boy. Okay. There's our team, peeps. We might lose a few. A couple of people might die. Um got a good engineer okay medic great cook uh, yeah I think we're alright there so there's our crew so what we need to do we need a bit more fuel maybe uh, let's load some pots 150 pots fill up right on bait can never have too much bait what's that five hours three f uh, um Okay. Let's go. I think that's everything. There we go. Uh, we need to get... Okay, this is a bit different to what I'm used to. Dock boat? No, we don't want a dock boat. We want to go into... Ah, there we go. Um... We need to find the crabs. <laughs> uh, where are you gonna fish? This looks fairly really dark red along here, doesn't it? And that's all light red. So I think if we come out there. And start about here. See, they're all going right, to who left this mess in the shower? It's hard enough to live in close quarters like that without having to clean up behind other people all the time. Oh no, she's going to be really whingy. Well, I'm turning the boat back. We have a shower? Why doesn't anyone ever tell me these things? <laughs> oh, she's going to be a right pain. Okay, when we go back, I might, I might have to sell her. Well, not, not sell her because that's illegal. But um, you know, season starts <laughs> in, in uh. 13.35, so it's 8 o'clock now, so we just fast some time. So we've got 12 hours yet. Our season begins with a shotgun start. In other words, you want to be out there where you're going to fish, you want to have your guys ready, you want that first pot baited and ready to go when the gun goes off. Okay, Stig, no problem. So we've got 11 hours yet. We'll stop it when we get closer to... Uh, to the kickoff. Where are we? Four, three, two. All right, let's uh, let's get the guys on deck. So, get on deck. You should see the people. There they are. Maybe we should have taken a few more pots out. I think that doesn't look like a lot.
what time is it? Season starts 2.24. So we've still got a while yet. 2.22. I don't think this boat is um, pink enough, to be honest. It still looks white. But I do like the blue. I like the blue in the sea. Looks pretty cool. So we're in position. We're the only boat around. And uh, we're on the stock western. And we're ready. Two hours. Uh, what does that mean? Three. Oh, she's baiting it. Okay, good. Um, let's uh, fast forward time. Uh oh. All right. Time to earn our pay. Just because you hit that buzzer doesn't mean that the guys are ready. And a lot of times, they'll launch that pot when they hear that sound immediately. They do it by instinct. The guys are so used to hearing that sound and pulling that lever, it's almost better off for you to check and make sure that everything's ready to go down there. Oh, my bad. Where are they? Oi! Oh. Okay. We, we, we're not ready to go. That was, uh, that was fail. Are we actually in position? I think we are, aren't we? Let's just check my map. Yeah. See so if we drop all along there like that. We should be good to go. Well, we're just wasting time here. You know, every house has got like an hour ahead of us. Yeah, I didn't mean to. A high RPM, okay. A lot of time the stern is going to want to pull to the port. That's called propeller wash. It's being sucked over there by the motion of the propeller in a okay. reverse direction. Sorry. <sighs> okay, we've got 12 bait. There's uh, Roxanne putting the bait into the into the trap. You ready then? Let's drop this. Yeah. Alright, get the next one ready. That should have been uh, put on our plotter now. Silk time. Yeah, it should be on there. Now, I don't know how close you need to put these pots. I don't know, you know, um, whether it matters too much or not. I don't, I don't know. But we're gonna. Uh, as soon as they're ready, we're gonna drop our uh, our pots. Stock Western. Are you ready? That seems far enough, didn't it? We're going in a straight line. Let's just check my plotter. Yeah. We're okay. Oh god, what have I done? No. That's all. So we are peeps, we're in the world of crabbing. We're uh, crabbing in the Alaska Alaskan Sea. In the freezing cold. But, you know, if, if you want that uh, if you want that green to spend, then uh, we have to do it, so. Ready, steady, go. We got a great crew. As you can see, they got the um, the health bar and their happiness bar. So Raxan's really, really happy about beating up. Uh, Kale, Tom, Tico, and Stan are uh, all fairly happy as well. Tico's like ecstatic. He, he's he's loving working for me. Okay. 
Look, see the guy on the crane. Look, that's got to be, probably be the easiest job in the uh, on the boat, isn't it? Just using the hydraulic crane. Ready, go. Let's drop that part. Okay, every uh, every pot you see here uh, is five pots. So. So yeah, when we got like 150 pots, we're not really dropping 150 of these. We're only dropping, you know, if you divide 150 oh, by five. We've got an injured crew member. Oh, you're joking. That's Tico. Tico is that man down. Is he okay? Come on, get up, son. Watch your head when you get up. Watch your head. Well done. Oh, he's limp. Yeah, go on. Ah, oh, this is all we need. We've only just started as well. Oh, Lady Luck is against us today. Have to drop him off at our next stop. He's got a hernia. Well, why did you come on the boat if you got a hernia problem? Oh, we're way understaffed now. Thanks a lot, Tico. I was just saying we had a great crew as well, didn't I? Drop that part. <laughs> Drop that part. Um, Alright, Tom's back from uh, tending to Tico, but Tico's mullered now for, for a while. It's just going to be... Uh, I think strange things happen at sea. Worst things happen at sea, shall I say. And uh, our crew is um, is already less effective than it was a few minutes ago. So we're going to try and do 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 all oh, that in there, 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 and then we we'll go and drop Tico back off or something. Cause uh, yeah, I hope you don't think he's going to get paid. Oh look, it's just taking for ages because he has to walk from there to there just to drop a pot. So not only do you start late. Oh, what was that? So not only do we start late, but uh, we got a man dying. Go. Yeah. See, if this was my boat and I was the captain, I'd probably go and help them. Nah, no, it wouldn't. Look at all these birds. We haven't actually caught anything yet. Hmm. Oh, it's taking forever. Tico, why are you so like happy? Are you happy that you got got a hernia? Poor Tom, now he's a deckhand. He's he's the engineer. He's the first aider. Ready, steady, go. Okay, there's our string. Check out the lingo. So I've been doing this for years. We should get this uh, this string done before they run out of energy. Normally, right, they get injured. If their energy is running low, or their morale's low, they start getting a bit, um, you know, a bit weird. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Same old. Good man. Hey, it's the boss. What do you want, boss? How you I'm doing? I have to get off at the next port, boss. Sorry. Oh, look at his face. He looks in agony. Oh no. Okay. How's Tom? Yes. Engineer report. Everything's working. Brilliant. Yes. How you Everything doing? Is fine so far. Apart from being a man dying. Yes. How's Stan? I'm here. Okay, good. Roxanne. Nothing better than good fishing on nice days. Oh, like your enthusiasm I'm there. I'm just chilling. Well, you should be working. Go back to work. Oh, 
Oh, this is so slow. Stop, stop resting. Come on. It's just imagine, you know, managing the throttle really. Uh, you want it around about two 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 eight eight. Not that, not that high. You want? Uh, yeah, I'll do. Because it's taking so long to get this pot ready. You don't want massive gaps in between. Um, let's check out. Yeah, we're still okay. I wonder how the others are doing. Oh, right, there they are. The Shellfish, Sea Star, the Bearing Star, Canelia Marie. Uh, 40 soaking, 105 on deck. Pot spacing is 0 0.1 miles. Um, okay. It's just slow and arduous at the moment. Especially with uh, a man down. Bloody Tico. You ready? Go. Doo -doo. That's people trying to talk to me in origin, I think. <laughs> I'm a bit busy, sorry. Or Skype or something. Yeah, we're going to be a while. Uh, the half seems to be okay. The season time, 3 minutes 35. So we mean, we're 3 minutes into the season. No, 3 hours, I think that is. Um, now, the only thing with this game is I don't know when the season ends. But you need to have all the pots out, out of the water because... Um, you get like find and stuff. Um, how far away is that? Okay. Ready? Go. God, we've only done fifty pots already. And it's taken us all that time. You can't even see the the um, the coast. It was quite close to the coast, you know, a, a while back. Okay. Hope you're enjoying this, peeps. Uh, I've had uh, so many people asking for it that um, I thought I'd better. Uh, <laughs> I better upload some deadliest catch, and uh, why not? It's a it's a great game. Okay, Roxanne, stop beating now. Um, better than good I'm just chilling. Okay, I want you to stop beating. I want you to be okay. a deckhand and help out with the. Uh, does that help us out at all? I think that speeds us up a bit as well. Yeah, that'll speed us up. You stay there. You two, yep. Yeah. Okay, sorted. Should have done that earlier, to be honest. See, that would scare the crap out of me. If I was on this boat, stood on that pot... You know, yeah, I'm just chilling here, just, uh, you know. I know it's really calm at the moment, but you've seen the program, and, and, and the weather is not the kindest. Yeah, I wouldn't like to fall into the Bering Sea, to be honest. Okay, she's starting to get a bit tired. So is Kale. Tom's fine. Stan's fine. Tico. Tico. Go. That's better. Uh, 
Okay, things are moving quickly. He's hooking up the next pot. Let's swing in. Lovely. So we've had probably the worst luck we could probably have on a crab boat in the first uh, couple of hours of the season. Oh, Tico. Tico, Tico, Tico. Tico. Come on. There's a lot of people standing around, isn't there? Let's get this done. Let's get these pots off the boat. Go. Yeah, if you're wondering, if you press the space bar, basically it tells them to drop the boat, uh, the pot. That's when you hear that little uh, dink sound. Well, I'm fairly happy. Not, you know, ecstatic happy, but... Uh, Can we see there? Oh, oh, I've done it again. There we go. Can we see their pots? No, we can't see their pots. That'd be uh, that'd be cheating a little bit, I suppose. So there's our string. <laughs> Lovely. The good thing is we're using next to no fuel. You know, only 288 RPM. We're just off idle. So. Nice and efficient. You can actually watch them on a monitor here. If you click that. That's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice view to watch them. You can't move in this camera though, but. Is uh, that's Roxanne, isn't it? Uh, that looks like uh, Kale with his um, little tash, his chin, his chin moustache. Whoa. Okay. So Roxanne's working hard. She done all the baiting. She looks a bit down in the dumps. You know when she walks, it's like, oh, I really don't want to be here. Mm. Oh, she is a bit tired now. All well, the heart energy is going down, which means that they're susceptible to uh, making mistakes and injuring themselves or others. So we need to be a bit careful of that. And uh, there's Tom. Go on then, Tom. Okay. How many have we got? We've got 75 left, so we're halfway, basically. So I might uh, pause the recording, and I'll be back once all these are... Uh... Well, I think it's, uh, we'll have this as an episode, and um, I'll be back once these are done. So uh, thank you for watching The Deadliest Catch, Your Last in the Storm, with me, Stocker Gloss, and the Stocker Western. Take care, and ciao for now.